I'm gonna say something so incredibly uncontroversial. You're gonna sit back and say, wow, this is the lamest YouTube video I've ever heard. But it needs to be said regardless. The Disney Plus lineup of Marvel slash Star Wars TV shows are pretty much trash and should have all been movies. Wow, I wasn't expecting to call them trash. I actually liked a few of them, so that, that even caught me off guard. Maybe this is a little controversial after all. <laughs> Subscribe for controversial thoughts on YouTube. I'll wait. I was very generous when I reviewed some of these TV shows back in the day on Disney+. Plus. I talked about Loki here. I talked about Hawkeye. I talked about Falcon and the Winter Soldier, whatever that thing's called. And I had pretty positive things to say about all of them. They were engaging enough. They kept me entertained. But as these shows kept coming out, the MCU, the Star Wars crap, I started to realize what exactly is happening here. None of these shows should have been shows to begin with, or almost none of them. They have enough material for one feature length film and not much else. And in some cases, not even that much. This bullshit six series arc all these shows are getting has the same formula every time. Episode one, get us introduced to our characters we're gonna be seeing for the next six episodes. Get us on the hook, make us think, wow, this is gonna be different than anything we've ever seen before. Episode two, take a pretty harsh drop in quality from the first episode. It's clear you have a budget for these. But it's also clear you put your best foot forward, and, and now you're starting to stumble already. Things start to get real dull, real fast. And then by episode four, you're either completely checked out already, or there's this shakeup that occurs. Female Loki's introduced. Female Star Wars character gets a spin-off side story that goes on far too long. Another character completely derails your own show! Mandalorian to Boba Fett, for instance. In Hawkeye's case, he's completely couched, so Kate Bishop can take over. This trend usually spills over into Episode 5. And then by Episode 6, the characters are back together, and I've lost all interest entirely. This pattern is noticeable in more ways than one, too. For instance, Moon Knight and Miss Marvel Every single episode, the character shows up with their powers at the final five minutes. We don't see Moon Knight for more than like 14 minutes total in six episodes, which are like 45 minutes to an hour long. Miss Marvel's the same way. I was really on the hook for the first one. Me and my family were like, this is pretty good. I like the vibe. I like the flow. By episode two, there was like a 20% drop in quality all around. The storyline was already stale. The effects somehow got far worse. And by the third boring ass episode, we're almost completely gone. This happened with Moon Knight. We did not get past episode three. I briefly brought up the effects. Let's circle back to them. Sometimes, top of the line. I mean, almost movie levels, especially when I look at Kenobi. There's some shots in that where I thought, wow, this is, uh, this is beautiful. This is really lovely to look at. And then we jump cut to a scene where Princess Leia is running around woods like she's on an episode of Zack and Cody uh, or Step by Step or some shit, depending on uh, which generation you grew up in. I don't know what kids watch now, B Bubble Guppies? That's not live action. I don't, I don't, I, Hannah, Hannah Montana. I think in this department, WandaVision holds up the best because they're able to go crazy with some of the styles of the show. And it really plays to the idea that it is a TV series. It's having fun with it. And it's using these larger than life characters in simplistic situations. But then we hit that final episode and we're forced to have these characters clash again and it becomes over the top. And that's where the cracks really start to show. That's where the, the thread comes undone. Thread comes undone. Well, the thread won't come undone. The, the sweater comes undone. I don't know. It's just, it looks bad. It looks cheap. And when you have these large tentpole properties like Marvel and Star Wars, you expect, if nothing else, for them to look pretty top tier. I mean, some of the worst Star Wars movies look phenomenal. Most people will not deny that the sequel trilogy looks fantastic even if the writing's ass. At the end of the day, this is nothing more than content for Disney+. Plus. They have to shit this stuff out on a regular basis so people keep the platform. They keep investing those eight to $10 a month and they're satisfied because, oh look, we have She-Hulk coming up and oh look, we have a R2-D2 spin-off animated show or Groot. Like, I cannot believe they're making a Groot spin-off show. What's even more of a bummer is I think some of these characters really could have benefited from a movie like Moon Knight. I know some people dug it. 
I couldn't finish it. I thought it sucked by episode three. It was just way too cheesy looking. The, the green screen work was awful. And Oscar Isaac was fantastic, but damn, I just... Yeah, that's a shame. Had they given him an actual movie with a big budget and, and a decent script, I would have been fully on board with this character. Imagine if they would have done what they did here with the Guardians of the Galaxy. Pretend there's no James Gunn movies. Instead, we have a six episode miniseries to get introduced to these characters. I think it would have been a complete failure. And ironically enough, that team of characters probably would work better in a miniseries type of setting. But Disney and whatever talent they have working on these clearly doesn't care enough to make these things something truly special. Instead, they come off as these lazy shovelware products they can quickly put on an assembly line and push out the door. Even if they have some creativity involved, inevitably they all end up with that same formulaic six part arc. The Marvel movies have already lost a ton of their magic and I freaking love Thor Ragnarok, but Thor 4, Love and Thunder, it's looking a little sketchy. It's looking a little sketchy, and again, Ragnarok's one of my favorite of the MCU films, so for me to say that is troubling. They're, they're, they're like going a little too silly for me. Uh, maybe it's just the trailers though, maybe it'll, be, maybe it'll be a good time all around. Having the TV shows now just kind of degrades the quality even more. The MCU is not quite the uh, upper echelon of films that it once was. Not that it ever was like grade A material, but from a consistency standpoint, you were able to go in enjoy the films, and wonder where they would lead. Now, I'm kind of nervous to even fire up the next episode of Miss Marvel. That, that's, that's troubling. That's troubling. Star Wars is a shit show all around, but I do think they need to calm down. Maybe put the shows on hiatus. They won't, because they need the content. They need that Disney Plus content membership stuff going up. Give me a damn good Star Wars movie. Don't even act like it's a trilogy. Just make something standalone, set completely separate from everything else Star Wars. It doesn't even have to have the, the freaking yellow title crawl. Do something new. Do something different. I'd also love to know your thoughts on these shows as well. Do you love them? Am I way off? Are you happy that there's just new stuff being shoved out all the time? Or would you prefer a less is more approach as well? Give me stuff that's not necessarily six episodes, but maybe just worth watching and discussing when it's done. Most of the stuff, I watch it, I walk away, and I never think about it again. Yet I still got Breaking Bad knocking at the back of my brain. I'm still thinking about Better Call Saul from a few weeks ago. Hell, I just binged all the seasons of Veep again? You wanna talk about a funny freaking show? Creative, not afraid to push the envelope, that's your show. These Disney things, they, they don't push anything. Except for the content out fast. Okay, I ranted long enough, again. Think about subscribing, like the video if you had a good time, stick around, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Damn it, I said time twice. What a hack. I'm starting to second guess myself on Mandalorian at this point. Were season one and two really that great? Or was I just excited to get something halfway competent from Star Wars again? It's tough to really know because once he showed up in Boba Fett and those episodes kind of were, were crappy as well, I'm just concerned about season three. Yeah, maybe um, the Mando stuff should be done too. Just give us a movie with Baby Yoda and him traveling, traveling the galaxy for a couple hours and I'll be good. Let's end this while we're, we're still somewhat ahead. Anyway, I'm on Patreon at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies or you can become a member right here on YouTube via that join button. You get exclusive videos, you get uh, emoji icons and things. It's, it's fun. Plus you're just, you're supporting me. That's really what it comes down to. I appreciate it.